I'm Ernestine Winston Rubin. I graduated from the University of Michigan in 1953. I live in Princeton, New Jersey, and have lived there for approximately 40, 50 years. And I'm married to Herbert Rubin, who also graduated from University of Michigan. And we have four children, and I'm a photographer. I have several close connections to Hill Auditorium. Um, to be connected to Hill Auditorium is, it has been probably one of the most exciting aspects of my life. Um, to begin with, I was a member of the Choral Union for four years. From the very day that I signed up on a bulletin board not knowing what I was signing up for, uh, a little man coming along and saying, may I help you? And I said, yes, there's so many things, so many places I can sing. I don't know what to sign up for. He said, don't bother to sign up. Come with me. And I said, where are we going? He said, you'll see. So he took me into a little room, and he sat down at a piano and started to play. He said, can you possibly sing the third note of this chord? Well, that was easy for me. I said, who are you? And he said, well, actually, I'm the conductor of the Choral Union, and my name is Seth McCoy. Two weeks later, somebody was flying through the dormitory, waving something madly in the air, saying, Ernie, Ernie, where are you? You got in. I said, I got into what? You got into Coral Union. I said, what's Coral Union? So um, I learned pretty quickly what was Coral Union. And I think one of the most marvelous moments in Coral Union was the day that I heard William Capel rehearse. And he played the Prokofiev Third Piano Concerto. It was just, um, there were moments when we sat, we always sat on the stage. We never had to sit in the audience. We listened, we sat, we, we heard the music, we discussed the music, we analyzed the music. We were part of that music for four years. And so my mind was able to wander during much of that time to my grandfather and all the hours I, I spent with him, his name was Albert Kahn, and he and I, he instilled in me my great love of music. And he was the architect for Hill Auditorium. He was passionate about music, and I think that uh, you may or may not know some of the incredible stories about Hill Auditorium as he was testing the acoustics in, with his son Edgar Kahn, uh, dropping a needle on the stage. Uh, uh, he, was, he was very concerned about music and the quality of music, and. I remember listening to the music and discussing it with him. I did it from a very young age, and I did it very, very frequently. My relationship to Hill Auditorium, not only was it acoustically exciting, but visually, the forms, the round forms, have always had a huge influence on my life. The emphasis on the arch, the arc, uh, the semicircle, the full circle, um, it's, it's a place where one can bring the arts together, and that's what the University of Michigan Musical Society is doing so successfully. It's an, a rare American institution, and I believe that it needs everyone's support. <laughs>